Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to solve this complex equation. Firstly, let's rewrite. We have said to the power 5 is equal to negative 32. And we have to let set to the power 5 be equal to w, where w is equal to negative 32 plus 0i, which means that the real part is negative 32, while the imaginary part is 0. We should first express this rectangular form in the form of polar form. So we have r cis theta, where r is the modulus. So which means that we should take square root of x squared plus y squared x is negative 32 while y is 0. Since what we need here is square which means that we can ignore the negative because regardless it's positive or negative and out we will still have positive and we can ignore 0 because 0 power anything we still get 0. Square square root cancel each other so we left 32. Next we should have theta which is the argument so we have r tangent y divided by x for this case since y is 0 and x is negative 32 if let's say we lazy to calculate we can use logic what we have to do here is draw a Cartesian plane what we have here is refer to the real part the real part is negative and the imaginary part is 0 so from here we can see that it must be on the left hand side of x exit from here, we have 0 degree, here 90 degree, and here is 180 degree, which means that theta must be 180 degree in order to fulfill this condition. From here, we found that W can be written as 32 cis 180 degree. Since that is to the power of 5, which means that by using a devolver's theorem, we should obtain 5 roots. Say power 5 is equal to W and W is equal to 32 cis 180 degree, which means that Z is equal to 32 cis 180 degree to the power of 1 over 5. And the first root is equal to 32 to the power 1 over 5 cis by right, we should have 180 degree, but then we have 5 roots, which means that we should take 180 degree divided by 5, which is 36 degree. If let's say we want to convert back to the rectangular form, we can make use of calculator. So we have to firstly use cos to obtain the real part, and the degree is 36. So press equal, we should obtain equal to 1.618 rounded to the nearest three decimal places. And we should now change cos to sine to obtain the imaginary part, which is positive 1.176i. For the second root, set to the modulus will still be the d2 to the power 1 over 5 or simply equal to 2. And the angle, we should be careful. We know that for any circle, if we complete one rotation, we should have 360 degree. But then we now have five roots. So which means that this degree must be shared evenly, which means that we take over five. So we have 360 divided by five, which is equal to 72 degree. In other words, every time when we increase to the next root the degree should add 72 which means that we should take the 36 plus 72 which is equal to 108 degree again by using calculator we can go up and get back what we have done previously refer back to the course and we should now change the angle to 108 press equal we should obtain negative 0 0.618 and now change cos to sine since we want the imaginary part so we have positive 1.902i next we have z3 so again 32 to the power 1 over 5 says now we should take 108 again plus 72 since 360 degree is shared evenly by this five roots so we have 180 degree so which means that we should obtain negative 2 and for the fourth root z4 we have equal to again the d2 to the power 1 over 5 
6. Now we should take 180 degree plus 72. Every time we increase 72 degree, which is 252 degree. And now we should have, again, refer back to the previous enter value. So we change 108 to 252. Press equal, we obtain negative 0 0.618. And we should now change cos to sine. So which means that we have is equal to negative 1.902i. Next, for the last root, again, we have 32 to the power 1 over 5, 6, and this time we take 252 plus 72, which is equal to 324. And we should now make use of what we have entered previously. So we remove the anger and replace with 334 degrees. We have positive 1.618 and for the imaginary part just simply remove the force and replace with sign so we have negative 1.176i and hence we're done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you